Hello everyone, this is Julia Bell from independencejewelry.com here to show you how to silver solder a bezel ring. To start, cut a length of 12 gauge half round wire. I'm using 63 millimeters for a size nine ring. Use a Sharpie to help you measure and then make your cut. Grab a jeweler's file and file both ends completely flat. This is important to make sure our soldering joint has no gaps. Bend the wire around the ring mandrel. I always start two sizes smaller than my finished ring size. Then I slide the ring to the size I want. This makes the ends press together, making it easier to get that flush solder joint with no gaps. I'm using a medium silver solder paste and applying flux to the joint. Light your torch and slowly start heating up the ring. Make sure to take proper safety precautions when using a torch. This includes a well-ventilated area and a fire-shielded surface. I'm using a charcoal block and a tile. Make sure you are constantly moving the torch to evenly heat the ring. Keep heating the ring until you see what's called the flash. You will see the solder fill into the joint. There. Did you see it? Quench your soldered ring band into the pickling solution. This will remove any fire scale left on the band. Inspect the solder joint strength and look for gaps. You can see the seam, but that's okay. This is where we will solder our bezel on. Check your ring size and reform the band if you need to. Use a ring clamp to hold the band. With the solder joint on top, grab the file again and file a flat area for the bezel cup to rest. You want it flat enough so the bezel cup balances perfectly on top. Apply easy solder paste and flux to the bottom of the bezel and place the bezel onto the flat surface of the ring band and make sure it's centered. Grab the torch again and slowly start heating the ring band you will see the bezel start to move around. This is why it's important to file a large enough flat spot for the bezel to balance. When the bezel sinks down, that's when you can tell the solder has flowed. Quench this in the pickling solution. Now it's time to set the cab you will be using into the bezel cup. I'm using an eight millimeter round purple shell cap. Place the ring back into the ring clamp and grab the brass bezel pusher. Start pushing the bezel around the cab, alternating sides. Then start pushing the bezel in one direction, going around the bezel a few times until you are satisfied there are no gaps between the bezel and the stone. And we are done! What gemstone would you set into this ring? Make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and visit my Etsy shop where you can get this ring made in your size. Links are in the description below. Thanks for watching, everyone.